Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents with another little nugget. This is all part of that first video I just did. Remember we dealt with the polishing through the chipping, the polishing with the buffer, you know, the paint job, the diamond, and I'm getting old, I forgot what the other one was. But anyway, there are so many ways to perfect something that is in perfect. And unfortunately, it all hurts. That's the sad part. It all hurts. So just to let you know, when God says he's taking you through the fiery furnace, don't take it as a form of punishment. And then his word also says, basically, basically, that God corrects his own. When he corrects you, don't despise the chastening of the Lord. Because if you were not his sons and daughters, he would not chasten you. But he's doing it for your good. Not for his good, not because he's got a bad attitude, not because he woke up on the wrong side of the bed like our parents have done. But everything he allows in our lives is for our benefit, one way or the other. Whether the benefit is tangible or developmental. You hear me? Now, all I say to you is don't be discouraged when it seems like people come against you and they don't like you and they look at you funny and they disrespect you and they put you on the back burner all the time. And they don't have much regard for you. They don't even consider you. Yeah. Well, guess what? You probably prayed a prayer like I did. Lord, bless me with the ability to love the way you love. Ooh, that is a dangerous prayer. Because you know what that means? God's going to answer that prayer. Mm-hmm. With knife wounds, stab wounds, bu bullet wounds, bruises, knocks, bumps, cuts, fractures. Oh, ho, ho, ho. When life gets through knocking and beating you around and you cooperate with God every step of the way, handling it his way, you will learn a new level of love that you never would have learned otherwise. Because you learn to love through hateful people. I know it sounds weird, but God works in paradoxes. And yes, that process gets on my nerves too, but it works. He enables you. He teaches you what real love is. He teaches you. He develops real mercy inside of you. Deeper levels of understanding. Where you don't see the nastiness of their demeanor, their personality, their words, their actions. You start seeing their innermost needs. And you start realizing there's something else going on. And it's not about me. They're damaged. And that is how they deal with it. God will teach you. He will give you a new level of compassion. And you will find yourself giving people so much more of the benefit of the doubt. Because as you fail, you will see more beauty in other people. You'll see greater possibilities in the goodness of other people. You'll see higher potential as your potential seems to diminish. I mean, God works in paradoxes because the more humble you become, the less judgmental you are. <laughs> he enables us to grow. He helps us. But it is a painful undertaking at times. I'm going to stop here because I can go on and on with all these different ways God deals with us. But I just want you to please be encouraged. If it looks like everything is going south on you, if it looks like all your relationships are a bust, yeah, look back and ask God, Lord, did I ask you to help me to love one time or give me a, a spirit of mercy? 
Oh, yeah, get ready, baby. Open up your umbrella because it's getting ready to rain. And it's not going to rain little pretty raindrops. Yeah, it's going to rock. It's going to drop meteor, uh, meteorites and boulders and, and rocks and <laughs> cannonballs. And all through the barrage of life and the attacks that come with it and your emotional pain, you will see the spiritual gain. And you won't trade that for anything. God bless you.